Hi, I am with Dan Neil Sutcliffe this afternoon from DS Wills to discuss some uh, interesting topics on uh, wills, inheritance for landlords and clients. One of the questions that we're going to ask you this afternoon is, firstly, uh, why do I need a will? So a will is your opportunity to gift your estate any which way you want. I would advise everybody over the age of 18 um, to have a will in place. I often get asked, well, why, why do I need one? Or I've got nothing to leave, so why would I have a will in place? However, if you don't have a will in place, the government have essentially wrote a will for you, and it's known as the laws of intestacy. Without a will, they will decide where your estate goes, and there is a good chance that it might end up with somebody that you wouldn't, you wouldn't have wanted to inherit from. Great. So, I have got children. Mm -hmm. uh, do I need a will in particular with relation to having kids? Absolutely. So your will is a place where you can appoint guardians for your children. So you might, you might think that you don't have any assets as, to leave as such, but if you've got children under the age of 18, then absolutely your will is vital um, to appoint guardians to make sure somebody will take care of your children if you both pass away, both parents that is. Um, the issue is, is that a lot of people assume that friends or family will automatically take care of their children. That's not the case. Without a will in place or without the appointment of guardians, um, it could be that there's a lengthy court process involved and worst case scenario it could mean that those children are placed into temporary care while somebody suitable is found to be their guardians. Great. And so if, and if I move home, do I need to update my will at that point again or when do I need to update the will having made one? Yeah, so it's advisable to update a will after a, after a move of address just to make sure that everything's all up to date. The other reason that it's good to update your will after a house move is because the valuation of your estate could have altered. So if you are buying a house that's of higher value or if you're downsized it's of a lower value, it could impact upon your overall estate valuation and potentially an inheritance tax liability. Other times to review your will would be um, if you have had a marriage or divorce, if you've had a new children, if your estate valuation fluctuates in, in any great manner. Um, or you want to have a change of your executors or your beneficiaries or anything like that. Okay. And if we were selling a home to a couple and they're not married, do they still need to have a will? Yeah, it's incredibly important that a cohabiting couple um, has a will in place in particular. The reason being is because um, cohabitees do not have the same rights as a married couple in law. The, I often hear a phrase of a common law marriage, such as a couple that have been together for many years, they've lived together and they are man and wife or whatever it may be in, in everything but name. The difficulty there is that um, they are not seen to be that in law. So in the event that one passes away without a will, if they don't have children, the intestacy laws would kick in and it's likely that their parents would inherit from their estate as opposed to their partner, which is normally unlikely. That's not normally the way somebody would want their estate to pass. Great. So it's incredibly important. Great. Excellent. So um, Daniel's details will be at the bottom of our posting. If you found that information helpful or would like to know some more information or contact her, then uh, do get in touch with Danielle. Uh, the details will be in this post, as I say.